and here is the ad email received on my gmail account it is sent from my professional email address ad yo item is here from weblogging.com and today i'm showing you how to create a business email in hostinger and link it with gmail this video is sponsored by hostinger hostinger is one of the most affordable shared hosting providers on the market today it is offering all premium features at affordable prices starting from $135 a month. If you want to check it out, make sure to use my link in the description below. So now let's get started with the video. First, we need a hosting account on Hostinger. Use my affiliate link so you can support us by getting a small commission without any additional cost to you. Hostinger is offering multiple plans. The first basic offer is called single shared hosting it will cost you 139 dollars per month and offers you one website one email and you can only create two databases if you move to the premium shared hosting which is the most popular plan you can host up to 100 websites 100 email accounts SSL certificates and a free domain by only paying $259 per month. However, personally, I am using the Business Shared Hosting plan, which gives you 200 gigabytes SSD storage and up to 100,000 visits monthly. And other features that you can check out. So, you select the plan you want to go with you create accounts or log in using your social media accounts then you select the payment method you want they offer a credit card google pay paypal and even pay using bitcoin or other crypto coins and before clicking on submit or pay this bill here make sure to use my coupon code geekblogging to get a discount Personally, I already have my account, so I'll go ahead and sign in. You click on manage and here uh, choose the domain name you want to create a email address in. In my case, it will be geekblogging.xyz. You scroll down and click on email accounts. So now we scroll down and click on our desired domain name. So we click on add email account and here you give it a name. It will be admin at geekblogging.xyz and choose the password and click on create. So since I have the business shared plan, I can create up to 100 email addresses. So now if I want to check out the emails, you click on webmail, log in. And here is how the control panel looks like. So now let's test it. So first we will send an email to my gmail account so you click on compose and click on send so now let's check out my gmail account and as you can see i have received that from admin at geekblogging.xyz and it is not classified as spam so now if you want to check if you received email, so let's go ahead and just reply to this previous email and refresh here. And here it is our email sent from uh, my Google account. So now if we want to link it to Gmail, so go to settings. Go to accounts and imports and click on add a mail account. 
So here we type in the address email and click on next. Click on next again. Here you type in and for the pop server, we'll go back to Hostinger, then go to configuration settings and copy this link here, paste it uh, for the port, choose 99. 995 and make sure to check these three boxes and click on add account click on save again click on next now you choose the name let's make it geek blogin and click on next step here in the smtp server go back here And for the port select for 465 as it appears on Hostinger and write your email address again along with the password and click on add accounts so now a confirmation code was sent to my email address so let's go and check it out here here is it so here is my confirmation code and click on verify and as a last step make sure to check this option in order to reply from the same address the message was sent to and now let's go back to inbox here and for example let's send a message using my email my professional email address to another gmail account so let's choose reply here from geek blog into my other address email and click on tab then send now let's log into my other gmail account and here is the ad uh, the mail received on my other gmail account it is sent from my professional email address admin at geekblogging.xyz and the name that appears here is the one that we have set before and it says test so this is it guys if you want to support us please consider using our affiliate link on the description box all the links used in this video will be in the description box too click the like button Subscribe with notifications on and share this video with your friends. Peace out.